Hi, Aaron Stonebeats on the principle of humbucking pickups. They were developed over 50 years ago to counter electromagnetic interference in the guitar signal, especially from the power grid, the typical 50 or 60 cycle hum. First, let's have a look at how an electromagnetic wave can come into being. Imagine a wire through which an alternating current runs. First it gets stronger in one direction, then it gets weaker again in that direction until it turns around, gets stronger in the other direction, gets weaker again in that direction and so on. Every current, every movement of charged particles has a magnetic field around itself which propagates outward at the speed of light. If the current is constant so is the magnetic field. If the current is alternating the magnetic field is alternating. A changing magnetic field induces a changing electric field. A changing electric field induces a changing magnetic field and so on. The magnetic field lines are always perpendicular to the direction of the current. The electric field lines are always parallel to the direction of the current. It could be represented like this but you'd have to imagine the magnetic and electric fields all around the wire in every direction. An electromagnetic field, a disturbance moving outward like ripples in a pond. So now we're playing our guitar and it just might happen that some magnetic field lines pass through the center of the coil. I've just drawn one turn of wire of the coil I've, and I've also drawn just one magnetic field line and of course the magnetic field is changing. It could be viewed as a north up south down magnet that's getting stronger inside our coil at this moment. Now the changing magnetic field will induce an electric field inside the wire of the coil. Like this, if I have left and right correct. A small point of interest, but not the main thing here. The electric field is a function of the change in the magnetic field. So when, for instance, the magnetic field is at its maximum, there is one short moment at which it doesn't change. So at that time the electric field will be zero. On the other hand, if the magnetic field crosses its zero line, its change is maximal. So at that moment the electric field will be strongest. So at the moment the magnetic field line changes from north-south to south-north, the electric field will turn around. It will flip and start growing in the other direction. This is the mechanism that underlies the dreaded electromagnetic interference in single coil pickups. Next we bring in a second coil since the length of a 50 Hertz wave is about 6000 kilometers, we can safely assume that magnetically the same thing, exactly the same thing will be happening in the second coil. So the same electric field will be induced there too. Now let's connect the coils in the middle and see what happens. The change of the voltage difference in the left coil will be exactly the same as that 
in the right coil. The two signals are in phase and they will enhance each other. Imagine, just as an illustration, that each coil would be capable of producing a maximum of 2 volts. So at some given time the right coil could be minus 1 volt on one side and plus 1 volt on the other side. This plus 1 volt does not change when we get to the beginning of the left coil. The left coil adds its 2 volts so at the leftmost lead we have 3 volts. Or imagine one side of the system being connected to ground, which is the case with guitar pickups. We'd have 0 volt there. At the other end of the right hand coil we'd be up 2 volts. The 2 volts don't change when we get to the next coil. The left coil adds its 2 volts and we get up to 4 volts. So again the potential difference is 4 volts. So if we connect our coils in series this way we basically get a bigger plus and minus on either side. However we could connect the coils in another way like this. Notice that now the end leads both have the same sign. The signals in the coils will be exactly out of phase. 90 degrees out of phase. They will cancel each other out. To illustrate imagine again our 2 volts per coil. At the beginning of the right hand coil we start with 1 volt. The electric field inside the coil will bring that to minus 1 volt on the other side. Again, nothing changes as we cross over to the left hand coil. But now, the electric field in that coil adds its 2 volts. And when we get to the far left side, we're back to the plus 1 volt we started with no potential difference. Imagine the left side is grounded and so has zero volt. On the other side of the left hand coil we will have gotten to minus two volts. Crossing over to the right hand coil we initially still have minus two volts but then that coil adds two volts to the potential and we're back to the zero volt we started with. No potential difference. This is how external electromagnetic interference is cancelled out in a humbucking pickup. Now you might wonder if the guitar signal will not be cancelled out in the same way. It won't if we reverse the polarity of the magnets in one of the pickups. Here is our trusted string and if you wonder how a guitar signal is generated in a pickup have a look at the previous video. At some point in time the left hand coil may be subjected to an electric field in clockwise direction because the right hand coil has a reversed magnetic field the generated electric field will be in counterclockwise direction and because of the clever way the coils are connected things work out perfectly imagine the left hand coil being connected to ground and having zero volts on the other side of that coil will be down 2 volts and at the beginning of the right hand coil will still be down 2 volts. And then we go down another 2 volts so we get to minus 4 volts. So external noise is cancelled out because of the reversed connection. 
and the guitar signal is passed through because of the reversed polarity of the magnets. The humbucking pickup. Mind you, I don't think the guitar pickup will generate 2 or 4 volts potential difference. It's just an example to illustrate with easy numbers. Anyway, I hope this was useful. Hope to see you again. Thank you.